Turbo Trading with Head Trader Robert Knight, MBA. I'm going to do a talk right now on the uh, transactional system of the markets. And most of it's done by a company called the Depository Trust Company, also known as DTC. It's to facilitate um, the transferring of stocks after when they're bought and sold in the marketplace. In the past, uh, you had to have three days for settlement. Originally, it was five days for settlement because they actually had to walk the certificates around, you know, New York or whatever, you know, Chicago, New York, you know, Vancouver, wherever they were trading, uh, wherever the, the uh, stock exchange was that they were trading on, and to physically deliver the shares to the, the new broker that bought the stock uh, from the old the broker that sold the stock. Um, and, and then in the 70s, uh, 1973, they founded uh, Depository Trust Company, and, it, and DTC for short. And what it does is facilitates the transactions, uh, uh, the movement of stocks, and, and now it's just all done electronically. If you look at a shareholders list of uh, companies that are trading, in, you know, on the New York, NASDAQ, that kind of thing, you'll see that the largest shareholder is DTC. And in, but in effect, they're not, they're not a shareholder. They don't have to file any reports because they're just a holding, they're just a depository. So just like you have, you put money in your bank um, or you know, you, your paycheck gets de deposited to your bank, your money's not actually there at that bank. It's just a journal entry. It's just a, a digital recording electronic uh, journal entry showing that you have money in your bank that you can in the bank that you can go and take out if you want or move it around do whatever you want but the physical cash is not sitting there it's sitting you know in the in the federal reserve uh, and it just a gen it's just an electronic entry so DTC is the same all of the shares now you ha you have to apply to become DTC eligible and if and once you've got that designation, then your shares are can be moved electronically uh, and it's again it's just a big journal entry so the DTC has actually does have all the physical certs sitting in its vaults um, at, at the end of the day but when you buy your if you buy stock uh, if you have a brokerage you know at Goldman Sachs and you buy some stock and, and you get it from um, J.P. Morgan or you know Wells Fargo, then it, it's a two-day settlement now, and it's just a it's just it becomes a journal entry. At the end of the day, they settle up all these trades, and, and with DTC, and uh, you know the electronic um, entries are made. And so then, when you look at your brokerage account, your firm, you you'll see that you have you know shares of IBM or you know X Y Z, whatever the case may be. But it's you don't the broker doesn't actually have that share in, in his in his possession. All those shares are simply held in the depository at DTC, and so it's it's just a clearinghouse and allows to uh, get, allows you to move stock around. And you can actually move stock by what is also called move it by DTC. So let's say that you have an account at J.P. Morgan and you want to move the stock to uh, Goldman Sachs. You ask the broker to DTC your shares from J.P. Morgan over to Goldman Sachs, and it's just a, an electronic entry. You can't DTC stocks to a different to a different name that, because that needs a transaction. That's a, a buy and a sell transaction. But you can move. You can transfer your your stock around in the market via DTC from one brokerage to another. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Reach new levels of trading proficiency. Become a member at turbotrading.biz.